This ain't right. And I don't know what else that I need to say because I'm tired of saying it. Tensions remain high as supporters of the man shot by a Kansas City police detective prepare for the next step in the legal process. This morning, dozens rallied in front of the Missouri Court of Appeals in downtown Kansas City. I'm John Holt. I'm Lauren Halifax. This is days before the appeals court hears oral arguments in Eric DeValconeer's appeal. The former Kansas City police detective is appealing his conviction for the shooting death of Cameron Lamb. Fox Force Tia Johnson's live at the Court of Appeals after getting reaction from Lamb's supporters. Tia? Yeah, Lauren, some might be wondering why Lamb supporters are rallying days before that hearing. Well, they say they fear Governor Mike Parson could order a could offer. I'm sorry, a pardon to the former detective. Now you going to tell me here's a guy that murdered my son and you're going to let him go. That's the biggest fear for Cameron Lamb supporters. Like they said, Eric DeBogner got everything he wanted. His way. Former Kansas City Police Detective Eric DeValconeer will be in court again for the shooting death of Cameron Lamb. This time his fate is up to the Court of Appeals. In 2021, a judge found him guilty for killing the father of three. He's been free, waiting for an appeal. And you're asking as far as there hasn't been actually words from the governor saying that there's been a pardon or is going to be a pardon. Why would he need to when Andrew Bailey has done it for him? They don't want y'all to know about the hurt that my wife feel. That this family feels. But Lamb supporters are worried about the upcoming hearing. Attorney General Andrew Bailey recommended the former detective's conviction be overturned. There's also indications that DeValconeer supporters have been laying the groundwork asking Governor Mike Parson to pardon the former police officer. Because I guarantee you if there was someone that looked like me or you, we would be in jail already. And that hearing is scheduled for 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Fox 4 will be in the courtroom and keep you updated. John, Lauren.